What's my most striking feature? Is it my Christmas jumper? Is it my height? Or my ginger hair? Sadly, my ginger hair was often the brunt of jokes when I was younger, but hopefully many of you can see this is rather silly, and it becomes even more so when you consider the minute genetic differences that give rise to it. So up on the screen are two hairs. On the right is a brown hair from my wife. On the left is one of my hairs, a ginger hair. And when we look down the microscope, you can't really see too much of a difference, except for the obvious one, which is one is a lot darker than the other. Now the difference between these two hairs is mostly down to a gene found on chromosome 16 called melanocortin 1 receptor, or MC1R for short. And this gene controls the type of pigment produced in the hair. Brown hairs like the one on the right contain a lot of a dark pigment called eumelanin. Ginger hairs like mine contain a lot of a lighter pigment called pheomelanin. This here is all 954 bases of MC1R. And this here is a version of the gene that gives rise to ginger hair like mine. Now the difference between them might not be immediately apparent, so I'm going to show you exactly how these differ. There. Just one single base change in all 954 is enough to give me ginger hair. So there are actually a number of these MC1R gene variants, so basically alternate versions with a single spelling difference, that can give rise to ginger hair. And this isn't confined to the MC1R gene. You can find a number of these single spelling differences throughout the human genome. There are about 60 million of them, and we call them single nucleotide polymorphisms. Most of these spelling differences are invisible, meaning that they don't change how we look on the outside. But at the genetic level, they still differentiate one person from another. But even when they do give rise to something like ginger hair, doesn't it seem rather stupid to pick on someone for essentially one base pair difference out of the three billion that make up our genome? <laughs>